ambiguous. A S M R. I can sense you, human. You can come out of hiding. My senses are keen enough to sense every subtle vibration of your every footstep and hear your every breath. You know, it's the polite thing to at least knock, not barge into someone's home like this. You wouldn't want to offend me, especially when I'm a dragon who has lived for more centuries than you can comprehend, and who has burnt down more armies than you can count. Even in my human-like form, I can level castles. There we go. Finally stepping out into the open, are we? I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. You didn't take a single coin from my hoard. Usually intruders fill their pockets to the brim as soon as they can. It makes them incredibly easy to hear when they clink and clank as they try to run. Though, it's been a few millennia since there was a person foolish enough to intrude upon my lair. It's truly surprising that you were brave enough to come here. And of course, the other pleasant surprise is that I was not expecting you to be so cute. For a human, anyway. Dragons don't give compliments lightly, especially me. Bask in the honor. Well, aren't you going to run away? That's what everyone else does at this point. Not that they get away. My flames can reach farther than you can see, human. You're still here. You seem awfully... calm. You're not sweating. Your breathing is stable. Are you really not afraid of me? That's at first. I don't think I've ever met a creature that wasn't afraid to death of me. Even the other dragons don't dare come near me. It's something of a source of pride for me. Not that there's any shortage of those. But still. It has its downsides, though. I've gotten all this treasure to keep me company. Mountains and mountains of it. But still. It gets lonely without any actual company. I can't remember the last time I had a conversation. Talking to you like this, it's actually quite thrilling. It's been so long that it shames me to say it, but I've been quite desperate lately. Recently I've taken to talking to the skeletons that decorate my lair. They're the ones that came before you. The so-called adventurers, who talked all big and then ran at the first sight of danger. Not like you, though. You're rather special. The first one to stay with me. I do like it. But why? Why aren't you afraid? You like dragons? Well, I think that might be a bit of an understatement. You must really love dragons if you're not running away from the strongest and most scary one out there. But, you know what, human? It's your lucky day, because I like you too. So much, in fact. I think I'll keep you. Yes, I think you'll make a wonderful addition to my hoard of treasure. You truly are precious, and precious things go in my hoard. 
you'll be the crown jewel, the only treasure that can talk to me, the only treasure that can keep me company, even when all the gold in the world couldn't. You're not fit to be another skeleton decorating my lair. No, you're far too great for that. You helped the dragon, after all. That's a great honour. I'll give you a second or two to process the glory. Now, come here. I'll allow you to snuggle under my wing. Not that you have a choice. It's a lot more like an order, but still, I'll allow you the privilege. There we go. I hope it's cosy for you under there. You feel just right under my wing. It's like you were made to snuggle with me. It's been so long since I felt the touch of another creature, I forgot what it felt like. Maybe I never even knew. It's been centuries, and even my memories get foggy after a point. You've shown me just how much I've been missing. But now I have you, and I'm never letting you go. It's funny. When you have mountains of gold like these, getting more never seems to make a difference. Even if I got another mountain of gold tomorrow, what would it matter? What's another mountain when you already have hundreds? So I can't remember the last time I felt like my wealth had grown. But now I finally have you. I finally feel like my wealth has grown beyond measure. I love you, human. And I need you. It shames me to say that. That I need you. It hurts me to say it. When I am in all likelihood the strongest being that has ever existed. It makes me ashamed that I am dependent on a tiny human like you. I hope you'll keep it as our little secret. Not that you'll be able to tell anyone. Because like I said. I am never letting you go. I am keeping you forever and ever. You're precious. You're so precious. I can't even begin to express how precious you are. I love you. You gleam brighter than all this gold. I love you. Dragons don't get drunk, but... The sight of you is making me tipsy. You're so delicate. So fragile. I worry that if I so much as sneeze in your direction, you'll break. You're as frail as you are, dear. And that only makes you all the more cherished to me. It makes me want to protect you even more. It makes me want to keep you safe and snug under my wing. When nothing else can get at you. When nothing can harm you. When nothing can take you away from me. I hope it's warm for you under there. Under my wing. I know it can get cold in my lair sometimes. But you'll be safe as long as you cling to me. So cling to me, sweetheart. Cling to me, and I'll keep you safe and secure. You won't have to worry about anything. You don't even have to do anything. All you have to do is talk to me. Listen to me. Keep me company. And look deeply into my eyes when I look into yours. So that I know I'm the only one you belong to. Because I'm the only one you will ever belong to. 
you know, I've never done this before. I don't know if any dragon has, but if you'd like, you could have some of my gold. Dragons never willingly part with their gold, especially one as mighty as me. So this is a very big deal. So I hope you'll appreciate the gesture. I know you won't have much of a use for it, since you'll never be leaving this place. And even if I gave you some gold, well, it's just going to be staying in this lair like it was before. So there isn't really much of a difference. But still, it's just, I really do love you, human. You're precious. You're precious. You're so precious. I just want you to understand that. I just want to show you how much you mean to me. I don't know humans very well. I never tried to understand them. To me, they were just the fools I burnt to death when they tried to steal my gold. But I want to understand you. I want to know everything there is to know about you. I want to know what makes you tick. I want to know what it is you like. What it is you like about dragons. What is it that you like about me? Is it my wings? Should I stretch them out for you? So that you can get a better look at them? Is it my towering size? Should I stand up so you can see how truly massive I am? I just love you, darling. I just want to treat you as sweetly as you deserve to be treated. I love you. I love you. I love you more than all the gold here. I can't get you out of my head. I know we just met, but my love for you feels like it was developed over thousands of years. Which, in a way it has, hasn't it? You're killing all the loneliness I've been suffering for all these years. You're killing the one thing I could never lay a claw on. Maybe you're not as frail as I thought. You must be even more precious than I thought. But you must be tired, my dear. At the very least, I know the journey to my lair is a treacherous one. For humans, anyway. You must be tired. Just get some rest. You can rest easy, since I am here. I'll keep watching over you. I'll protect you from everything. I won't let anything harm you. I won't let anything bother you. You're my everything. I could never let anything happen to you. So just close your eyes and dream. And when you wake up, you'll still be here under my wing. My crown jewel.